Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, coming to you to answer a couple questions, show you a couple things, and uh, to have some fun. So um, what I'm showing you, this is on the limited RAV4, so um, I've had a question on changing the display of uh, Celsius or of uh, Fahrenheit. I'm gonna go over that. I'm also gonna go over the uh, main screen here um, and show you how to change it from kilometers um, change the fuel economy to liters, um, miles per gallon, things along those lines. So um, let's dive in. Let's have some fun. You guys let me know if you have any questions along the way, and we'll uh, we'll have some fun. Steve Walsh, being a Toyota, let's do this. So, all right, if we look here, you're going to see everything's set. This is miles per gallon right here, or miles, miles per gallon, and um, also the um, digital speedometer. So I was trying to figure out all of the ones that had a couple of different things. So I will tell you in your uh, ones that don't have the digital, you can still change the meters of these to where it would, instead of miles per gallon, be miles per gallon imperial or liters or um, uh, miles per um, or the rest of them. Anyway, so um, <laughs> there's there's four of them and, and it gets me a little confused sometimes unless i'm looking at it so you know i'm going to hit menu here i'm going to set up i'm going to pop down here so if you notice once i pop down here so it's general so hit home just to get back to the main screen menu set up right i'm going to come down here there is how you change your temperature all right that's where you change your temperature to celsius right the unit of temperature is right there all right, unit of measure. I can change the unit of measure to kilometers, to uh, liters per 100 kilometers. That's what I was trying to get out of my head earlier. Um, so kilometers per liter, liters per 100 kilometers, miles per gallon US or miles per gallon Imperial. So if you watch when I change this, you're gonna notice something else. I'm gonna go to kilometers right now and watch the speedometer. Boom, you just changed kilometers, right? And this is the liters per 100, and that's your kilometers per liter. And then you go to miles per gallon imperial and then miles per gallon us so you can see how you can switch those very easy and i was just going through these so you can kind of get an idea see boom 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 right so i was going through those you can also if you wanted to change those without going through there you can actually come through here right and you can go over i'm trying to get it where you can see it to that little settings thing right down there you can kind of see it when it went away but when you go on the bottom it's right there it's that little setting thing all right so then once you get to this screen you just scroll down with this button right here you're scrolling down get to your settings menu down here you can press and hold it and you go to units units and you can change those same units here that's the way that you'll do it on anything that doesn't have this the seven inch screen digital readout here all right um, you can also change the meter type while you're here and go into a digital meter. If you chose to do that, you can definitely do that. All right. So just depends on how you want it to look things along those lines. That's all up to you. Right? So I personally like this one, but there are some people that want it to be digital all the time. No problem. Uh, technically just so you know, for, uh, you know, for being accurate here, this is also digital because it's a screen, but it's the analog version of the digital screen. So we'll call that just like it is. So that's how you switch over to your Fahrenheit. That's how, or to your Celsius. That's how you switch your um, uh, center screen to kilometers. And uh, you jump back and forth. You can do it however you want to. Um, also, if you switch it to the other one, it would look like uh, the digital one. It would be kilometers per hour at that point as well. So um, just very, very easy to be able to change everything press and hold oops press and hold units and pop back in and you can change all of that so very easy to do just uh you know i mean let me know if you have any questions on it but uh, i'm definitely more than happy to help you guys with uh with any questions that you might have um i will note that this feature with the temperature only seems to be in the higher levels all right so 
Um, I know it's in the limited. I think it's in the XSE. I believe the way to know is if you have that screen, then you'll have that ability to change that. But I didn't see an ability to change it on the lesser versions of the uh, of the trim levels. So, um, but uh, if any of you guys got an update to that, feel free to do that too. Um, hopefully I've helped you guys out and given you some information you didn't have otherwise. Steve Walsh from Beam Toyota. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.